Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Coinbase stock right now is down 42% from its all-time high. So is it a good time to buy the dip on this growth stock? That's the question we're gonna try to answer today. Okay guys, so I'm going to look at the whole idea of buying in on Coinbase, buying the dip, because right now it's down 42%. Before we look at the investment consideration, let me give you a quick overview of Coinbase's recent performance. So Coinbase continues, guys, to benefit from the overall state of the crypto market. High-performing digital assets attract significant attention, but for those that are hesitant to invest directly in crypto, Coinbase offers an alternative investment opportunity. Look at the performance from the last few years. 2023, Coinbase's shares surged by 391%. So if you bought in at the beginning of 2023, you were a very happy camper walking out of 2023. And then in 2024, shares increased by an additional 19%. All right. But when we look at the current valuation, despite recent gains, shares are trading 42% below their peak during the 2021 bull market, which was absolutely insane for Coinbase. Okay, so now let's answer that question. Uh, like, let's consider it as an investor. Should we buy the dip? And don't go anywhere, guys, because next I wanna talk about some of the challenges of owning Coinbase stock. So don't just get the positives, hear the full story. All right, so after a challenging period in 2022, Coinbase's growth has rebounded with a 50% increase in net revenue in Q4 2023. The momentum has persisted into 2024 despite a notable drop in transaction fees between Q1 and Q2. So what is Coinbase's role in the crypto ecosystem. It's a leading brokerage and exchange. Coinbase is benefiting from increased market activity during bullish trends, but they face challenges, which we're going to talk about here in a minute, during bear markets. So what is the company doing? They're shifting to what they call predictable revenue. And this whole strategic shift is led by their CEO, Brian Armstrong, and Coinbase is aiming to reduce their dependency on trading volume by building a more stable recurring revenue model. Specifically, they're trying to do this through subscriptions and services growth. Revenue is increasing this segment, subscriptions and, seven, and services growth, including their stable coins, blockchain rewards, custodial fees. All of this grew by 79% year over year in Q2 2024. Subscriptions and services now account, guys, for 43% of total revenue, a significant increase from the only 5% that it, it took only three years ago. So what's the long-term vision for Coinbase? Coinbase's goal is to transition the whole industry towards a broader utility of crypto, guys blockchain technology beyond mere financial speculation they want to make it something that we actually use so what are some of the challenges because that's what i'm talking about what are some of the challenges of owning coinbase stock and then we're going to wrap it all together and we're going to tell you why you should consider investing in coinbase all right so first of all valuation it's it's a problem there was a historic low um, in late 2022 Coinbase traded at a price to sales PS ratio of under 1.5. Today, the stock now trades at a PS multiple of almost 11.9, reflecting high market enthusiasm, but it also raises some concerns about its very expensive valuation. So what is the financial performance been? Because I think this is also a challenge. Revenue more than doubled in the first six months of 2024 compared to the same period of 2023. That's great. They achieved a $1.1 billion in operating income, significant improve, improvement from the almost $200 million loss in the first half of 2023. But all of this comes with a healthy dose of market volatility. The crypto market's inherent volatility 
volatility makes Coinbase a challenging stock to hold long term as financial results can change rapidly based on market conditions. Really, Coinbase is directly tied to the crypto market. So if Bitcoin, Ethereum, if they do well, Coinbase does well. If they don't do so hot, Coinbase, it's directly interlinked, guys. So with all of this said, why should we even consider Coinbase? Well, the main thing is that it's an alternative to direct crypto investment. For investors who find direct ownership of digital assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum too risky, Coinbase offers a way to gain exposure to the cryptocurrency industry through equities. And maybe you're being strategic. Coinbase's success is closely tied to the overall success of the crypto market. So if crypto and blockchain technology become integral to daily life in the next five to 10 years, then Coinbase is likely to benefit significantly. So who is this stock ideal for? For investors with a bullish outlook on the crypto industry who have a high risk tolerance and a long-term investment horizon. Okay, guys, now I will tell you, I am not invested in Coinbase right now. Not buying into the stock. I did a lot of research, went over it, decided not to invest in it. If you do wanna know the stocks I am investing in, subscribe to the channel because I post a video every single week telling you what stock I'm buying, all right? Now, I will say I am invested directly in crypto. I have some Bitcoin, mostly Bitcoin, a little bit of the other um, like Ethereum, Shiba, some of that stuff. Um, but mostly Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is the big player and will continue to be the big player. Um, but anyway, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you want more content like this, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Coinbase, crypto, and just the general idea of investing in, uh, in this new blockchain technology. Anyway, guys, y'all have an awesome day, and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.